These are the focus tonight. 2 million ringgit approved to address erosion issue at Rumah Robert. Principle of trust and confidence strengthens Sarawak Federal Partnership. Cooperation of all stakeholders necessary to achieve zero rabies target. Assalamualaikum and good evening. The federal government has approved an allocation of 2 million ringgit to help address erosion issues along the riverbank in front of Rumah Robert in Nanga Sabatu. Prime Minister Datuk Sri Anwar Ibrahim said the decision was made after he witnessed firsthand the increasingly eroded riverbank in front of the longhouse. He explained that immediate assistance must be provided to prevent the issue from worsening and causing serious problems in the future. Dalam perjalanan sini saya lihat ada sungai, ada tebing. Kemudian sungai ini pula ada hakisan. Hakisan dijelaskan kawasan rumah panjang masuk Rumah panjang Robert ini Bahaya dia kerana sungai itu Tiap tahun terutama bila air pasang Berlaku kehakisan Jadi saya terus Depan dan next saya terus telefon Kementerian Kewangan Tengok boleh Bantu sedikit lagi untuk pastikan Saya tak mau umumkan duit tidak ada Kerana menteri-menteri dia datang umum-umum Tapi wang tak ada Jadi lebih umum Saya cek dulu Tadi dia uh, uh, Datuk saya Alex dengar sendiri Saya umum Saya kata sekitar Berapa dia dah? Saya kata sekitar 2 juta saya nak umum Jawabnya Ya Kita luluskan 2 juta ringgit Untuk jaga tebing sungai ini yang besar He spoke at the Majlis Ramah Mesra Bersama pemimpin program Held at Rumah Robert in Kapit on Sunday In relation to this The Prime Minister urged all elected representatives to go to the ground and personally observe the difficulties as well as issues faced by the communities in their respective areas. Ah, ini dia. Kalau kita betul ada cadangan. Sebab itu selalu orang-orang pegang amanah mesti turun ke bawah. Lihat sendiri dan rasakan masalah rakyat itu masalah kita. Earlier in his speech, Sarawak Premier Datuk Patinggi Tan Sri Dr. Abang Abdul Rahman Zohari Tun Tato Abang Openg said that strong confidence and trust served as a catalyst for Sarawak's collaboration with the federal government. He noted that this collaboration between the two governments is demonstrated by fulfilling demands, especially those enshrined in the Malaysia Agreement 1963 MA63, along with various other infrastructure developments. Dan kita mengucap terima kasih kerana kita membangun ada orang mahu bantu kita yang bantu kita ialah kerjaan persekutuan di bawah Datuk Seri Anwar Ibrahim. Explaining further, Datuk Panegi Abang Zuhari said that the Prime Minister's visit to Kapit this time came with a gift to help the Sarawak government enhance infrastructure facilities in the area. Therefore, the Sarawak Premier believes that the strong relationship between the two governments will further accelerate collaborative efforts in developing the region. Earlier during an event at the Kapik Civic Centre on Sunday morning, Dato Sri Anwar approved an allocation exceeding 500 million ringgit to complete the road network along the banks of the Rajang River. The cooperation of all stakeholders is crucial in achieving zero rabies, especially by 2030. Sarawak Premier Datuk Patinggi Abang Zuhari called on all related parties to cooperate in controlling and eradicating rabies in Borneo. We need to work together to educate the public about rabies and to monitor, track and always stay one step ahead on the disease. He said this in his text of speech read by Sarawak Deputy Premier Datuk Amar Prof. Dr. Sim Kui Hian at the Rabies in Borneo RIB 2024 opening ceremony in Kuching on Monday. The Sarawak Premier added that the RIB 2024 conference is expected to have productive and beneficial results where everyone will benefit greatly from the discussions and sharing of information that will take place. Meanwhile, when met by reporters, Dato' Amar Dr. Sim said 
that the public must play their role and do their part as they must also be aware of the changing pattern of rabies. It's no longer just dogs, it's cats as well as no longer street dogs, it's your pet. Yeah? So that is yearly vaccination for your dogs, number one. Number two, if anybody got scratches or dog bites or what, right, go to the bite clinics. Yeah? He added that the vaccine administered to humans in the event of a bite is to ensure that the rabies virus does not spread to the brain as the fatality rate for rabies is 99%. Notably, Sarawak has reported 81 human rabies infections with 74 deaths recorded. Furthermore, six new cases have been reported in 2024. Earlier in his opening remarks, Sarawak Minister for Food Industry, Commodity and Regional Development, Dr. Sri Dr. Stephen Rundi Utom said that RIB 2024 is the most suitable platform to learn the methods of other countries in tackling rabies. For Sarawak in particular, he explained that efforts to eradicate rabies are difficult but not impossible to do, especially to achieve zero rabies by 2030. And we need to share, or we need to call people who have actually achieved <coughs> near 100% or even 100% eliminating rabies in their country. And what they have done, what they do, and how are we going to what they have done. Dr. Sri Dr. Stephen Rundi added that the two day conference also gathered experts from around the world, including Brunei Darussalam, the Philippines, Indonesia, India, Australia, and Brazil, to share their experiences as well as to hear important ideas and opinions for Southeast Asia and Sarawak. I know I was given when I read about the fatalities from rabies, it's more on the Asian type. Asian countries and so on. So it is time for us to really work together. Sra Robotics teams have achieved remarkable success at the World Robot Olympia 2024 Open Championship or WRO 2024 held in Brescia, Italy from the 25th to 28th September. Supported by the Sra Ministry of Education, Innovation and Talent Development, MEITD, the teams demonstrated exceptional skill and talent on the global stage. The Up Up team from SMK Chunghua Miri emerged as world champions in the Robo Sports category, while iRobo Rug from IPGM Miri Campus claimed second place in the Senior Robo Mission category. Meanwhile, Mei Gong from SJKC Chunghua Miri finished sixth out of 52 teams competing in the Robo Mission Elementary category. This achievement serves as a significant milestone for Sarawak and Malaysia in the global robotics landscape. The WRO, a prestigious international robotics competition for students aged 8 to 19, aims to foster robotics education in STEM through four categories, notably Robo Mission, Robo Sports, Future Innovators and Future Engineers. This year, the competition featured 238 teams from 47 participating nations with Malaysia, represented by six teams, three of which held from Sarawak. And that's the English edition with me, Didino Shafika. More news can be found in our official portal, ukastosrawak.gov.my and social media platforms including Facebook and YouTube. We conclude the bluting with a montage of the Rabies in Borneo 2024 opening ceremony held in Kuching on Monday. Hashtag Sunrise for Masirayat. Have a good night.